This video examines the Turnitin Similarity Report and the value of the Similarity Report for your teaching practice. We will discuss the key features of the Similarity Report and describe a workflow to use these features in your review of student papers. Meet Ms Kim. She is an experienced educator with a high teaching load. She has used a variety of academic integrity tools in the past as part of her evaluation of student work, most recently, Original. She has recently learned that her institution will soon be using Turnitin Similarity exclusively. Ms Kim is interested to find out more about the benefits of the Similarity Report, but is also concerned about the time and work required to learn a new tool and how she will incorporate the report into her existing workflow when she assesses student papers. She is also committed to providing formative learning opportunities to her students as they develop their understanding of academic integrity. She speaks with her institution's administrator, who tells her that Similarity is a comprehensive integrity solution that she can access through her institution's learning management system. Intrigued, Ms Kim decides to use an essay from a previous term to take a look at the Similarity Report herself. To access the Similarity Report, Ms Kim follows the advice of her administrator and accesses the report within the institution's learning management system. Depending on your institution, you will access the report via your LMS or via your institution's URL. If you are unsure how to access, speak with your administrator. Ms Kim opens the report and sees that the report analysis appears in a panel on the right-hand side, alongside the text of the submitted document. The overall similarity score is presented at the top of the panel. She sees that each match shows the name of the source and the origin of the match, such as the internet, publication, or a previously submitted work. She clicks on each match to open the extended view and review the match with where it occurs in the text. This means she can compare the wording side by side. Hyperlinks lead to the original page for content sources. Individual sources can be easily excluded from the report by clicking the hide symbol. She reflects that seeing the report analysis alongside the text of the paper makes the report very simple and easy to use. Ms Kim then looks into the similarity report more deeply by switching to the All Sources tab. Here she can see all matches that occur within the text. By clicking on Settings, she can apply exclusion filters, such as the types of matches in the report. Ms Kim decides to exclude quotes and bibliography in order to see the similarity score without these included. After this, she decides to exclude all matches other than quotes in order to evaluate the use of quotes in the paper. Ms Kim reflects that this function is a good substitute for our original quotes toggle. She is pleased to see that the report is flexible and can be easily adapted to help her evaluate the use of sources in the paper. Ms Kim notices another feature. She can decide which repositories are searched. This gives her more insight into origins of matches in the paper. Changes are immediately reflected in the similarity score. Available repositories include the internet, publications and submitted works, which draws from either a global or private institutional repository, depending on which has been selected by the institution. Opting for the global repository gives instructors the ability to see if any matches correspond with papers submitted by students at other institutions. Though for privacy reasons, instructors will only be able to view the full match if this has been sanctioned by the other institution's administrator. The private repository option gives more insight into matches within your institution. As Ms Kim's institution has chosen to use the private repository option, she can view and exclude previous drafts of the paper also submitted by the student. She can also see if there is any similarity between this student's paper and those of other students at her institution, which may suggest collusion. Next, Ms Kim looks at the Flags panel. This feature appears if there is any deliberate text modification within the paper, including white text and characters from other alphabets. This is similar to our original's warnings function. Ms Kim realises that this feature will help her identify if a student has attempted to evade similarity detection. Ms Kim notices a number of other useful features, including the ability to download the report as a PDF. 
The PDF contains all the details of the full report, including clickable links to matching content sources. Ms. Kim thinks that this could be a useful resource for teaching students about plagiarism in their writing. Then, Ms. Kim investigates how she can use similarity to receive and manage student submissions. She learns that she can set up an assignment in her LMS with similarity enabled, meaning she can ask students to submit their documents directly. For institutions that access similarity using an institutional URL, direct submissions can be enabled within assignment folders, meaning students can also submit their assignments independently. Ms. Kim further considers the formative learning opportunities the report offers for her students. She learns that the institution can request that students submit their paper via the learning management system, review their similarity report, and then, if necessary, resubmit before the deadline for the assignment. This means that they have the opportunity to self-correct before final submission. Instructors should note that this feature is not available to students at institutions that access similarity using an institutional URL. Ms. Kim considers the benefits of the similarity report. The report allows her to evaluate the use of sources in students' papers using side-by-side -side comparisons, refine and filter the types of matches that appear in the similarity score, as well as which repositories the paper is checked against, discover if students have deliberately manipulated text using the flags panel, Provide her with a PDF report that she can use as a tool to give students valuable feedback on their submissions. And the similarity report is intuitive to use, meaning it will be easy for her to adapt to using it. Ms. Kim then considers how she can incorporate similarity into her teaching practice when setting and assessing assignments. First, she will ensure that she sets up an assignment within her LMS with Turnitin Similarity enabled. For institutions that access similarity via URL, instructors should enable direct submissions in the relevant assignment folder. She will need to ensure that students are familiar with the report and of the ability to resubmit before the deadline via the LMS, so it would be worth spending some time teaching students about the report, how to interpret it, and use it for formative learning. Instructors should note that students see a slightly different version of the report, so should use this one when teaching students how to use it. For institutions that access similarity using a URL, instructors can make students aware of the PDF report and explain how this will be used to give feedback on their submissions. Ms. Kim will then use the report to help in her evaluation of student work. She knows that similarity does not feature any feedback or commenting tools, so she will take advantage of all the tools available in her institution's LMS for this as guided by her administrator. Ms. Kim is excited to get started with the Turnitin Similarity Report. She's pleased with the variety of useful features it offers and the potential to help her students write with integrity. If you need more information about the Similarity Report, please review the Help section within the application or visit the Turnitin Similarity website to learn more.